a name in python program is called identifiers the conclusion here is as beginner we must remember these rules a reserved word means to represent meanings or functionality we have totally 35 keywords in the python please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos thank you hello everyone welcome to vinod ratinam tutorials in this video we are going to learn about python identifiers and reserved keywords then in addition to that we are going to see one important feature of jupyter notebook that is how to create the documentation then i have mentioned time for each topic in the comments you can directly watch your favorite topics what is identifier let me explain with an example during our school time how we will identify a person in our classroom with the help of name same way a name in python program is called as identifier which can be used for identification purpose like variables functions class and modules then in order to name us our parents followed some rules like astrology numerology if not at least they kept some meaningful name same way we have to follow some rules for python identifiers let me implement this rule one by one first we have to open the jupyter notebook type command enter here jupyter notebook enter it takes few minutes to load once loading completed this particular url will be launched in your default browser we have already created a folder python tutorials here we have to create the python3 notebook python3 rename it python identifier under reserved keywords rename so the file is created how to create the documentation parallelly is one of the important thing here first you have to create the heading click on heading just okay type here python identifiers then press b for the next line to insert here you want to type the definitions in the notepad this is a definition copy paste it just save it close here we created our file just open it again this is how we have to create the documentation parallelly while doing the coding this is one of the best feature available in the jupyter notebook same way i have created documentation for rules for identifiers uh, the book definition says python identifier is a name used to identify a variable class modules or other objects in simple words a name in python program is called identifiers and we have some set of five rules while naming the identifiers just press b here it should be code now we will start coding it it is always best practice we have to give the comments first one is rule one the rule one says the identifiers is a sequence of letters such as upper case lower case digit and an underscore that is alpha numeric character let me show a few examples of identifiers which follows the rule one first example it should be upper case this is an employee name then employee name in lower case and the third example is employee underscore name where we use underscore symbol and this is how mostly variables are named this is a best way of naming the identifiers then final example is employee followed by the number one so that's what says here we have used lower case upper case then digit and also underscore the rule one is completed the rule two says it does not allow punctuation characters such as at dollar symbol percentage within the identifiers if you want to give okay employee name i'm using at symbol just press shift enter you will get the invalid syntax same way these three are the example for invalid identifiers we should avoid using a dollar and percentage symbol while naming the identifier rule 3 says it's a case sensitive it means the example both are same name but here s in caps here in small it means both the identifiers are totally different rule 3 is for case sensitive student equal to Vinod, then student equal to Anand. This is a variable 
in which I saved a string value. We will see the next video about this variable concepts only. For a time being, just understand the concept alone. In two variables, I saved two value. Just print both the variables. You will understand the different. When we run, so the value is totally different. It is very, very important. Python is a case sensitive while naming the identifier. You have to be very careful. And the rule four says it cannot start with a digit. If it start with a digit, then Python thinks it's a number. Example one employee just run it. It will say it's a invalid syntax. We should avoid an identifier starts with number. And the final rule is reserved words cannot be used as an identifier. The reserved keyword means, for example, if else statement, we should not use it as a identifier. When you run it, you will get it's an invalid syntax. Same way for while also. We have completed five rules. The conclusion here is as beginner, we must remember these rules during naming the identifiers. Same way I have created the documentation for reserved words and rules for reserved words. A reserved word means in Python, some words are reserved to represent meanings or functionality. Such type of words are called reserved words and it is also have two rules all the python keywords are reserved words must be in lower case letter only so we should not use the uppercase if you use it then it will throw the invalid syntax and second rule it cannot use them as a constant or a variable or any other identifiers names it means that this particular keywords we can't use it anywhere during coding other than it represent its own functionality now if you want to know what are all the reserve words available in the python we'll code and see press b best practice include the comment program to print all the keywords or reserved words can be anything import is a keyword used to import library and we have a library called keyword all these keywords are stored in this particular library enter after this type print keyword dot i pressed tab so it is showing the auto suggestion in this select kw list now shift enter run it these are all the keywords available in the python if you want to count this keywords very easy include the comments total count of the keywords now same way print we use a function called len which is used to find this total number of values available in that len just copy keyword dot kw list and run it we have totally 35 keywords in the Python. In most of the Python tutorial, they have mentioned 33 keywords, but recently in the latest version, they had a two more new reserved keywords, async and await. These two keywords are recently added. So now totally we have 35 keywords. Remember it. I mentioned that in the comments async and await are the latest keywords in python so totally 33 plus 2 35 these keywords we can't use as a constant variable or any other identifiers a short recap whatever i am teaching i will put it in this website this url i will mention in the video description also you can come here and directly see our coding we have learned what is an identifier name in python program is called identifiers then five rules and how to name each identifiers then we saw the reserved words or keywords and it has a two rule we learned how to print all the keywords or reserved words using this piece of code then to find the count we used len function make sure whenever you get any doubt you visit this particular url for reference that's the end of this video in case of any clarification please comment in video description or ping me to my linkedin id thanks for watching happy learning